So my name is Andre Teixeira. I'm a bariatric surgeon um, by train. I did a fellowship at Minimally Invasive and Bariatric Surgery at Cleveland Clinic. And I did my general surgery residency at Orlando Health. I'm also a bariatric endoscopist, which is, we don't have that many around in USA. So I do a lot of intervention um, endoscopically, like intragastric balloons, endoscopic sleeves, endoscopic revisions, also uh, bariatric endoscopy treatment of complications. I'm also a uh, robotic surgeon, a uh, bariatric uh, robotic surgeon. I'm 100% robotically uh, at this time. I'm also trained uh, in Proctor. Uh, other robotic surgeons, they're planning to expand into bariatric uh, field uh, with robotics. It's very humbling to help uh, other surgeons to achieve another way of doing their operations. Um, I've been doing robotics since 2013. Laparoscopically, I've done probably about 1,500 to 1,800 cases. Um, in terms of robotically cases, um, I'm pretty close to about uh, 2,500 uh, robotic cases. It's a new platform that is going to be in the future. There's a lot of new companies launching new robotic platforms. One of the questions I get, why someone would transition from laparoscopic to robotically? And I think it's a very individual um, perspective. For me, it was more of an economic uh, way to do the operation. I did have an injury uh, on my neck. That robotic platform actually helped me um, continue to perform my operations uh, without any issues. Um, also, it's a platform that you have full dexterity, uh, that laparoscopic, you don't have it. Uh, also, robotically allows you a 3D imaging uh, of the cases when you're doing it. And there's some more technology assessed with it uh, that allows you to have sometimes better outcomes uh, with the patients and also decrease complication rates.